fish and other seafood like lobsters, prawns and shrimps are important sources of nutrition for man. The Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations ranks Nigeria on its top 10 list of countries where fishing is a vibrant business, with an estimated 313,000 tons of fish captured annually. One would expect that with these statistics, anyone involved in the business of fishing should be living in splendor. And so Channel Television went on a trail to see how those who risk their lives at sea are faring. Our set takes us to Bejileki, a local government in the Ekwe area of Lagos State, southwest Nigeria. On arrival at Okunche, a closer community of about 1,500 people, it is clear we're in the right place. This community has been in existence for 100 years, with the young, old and buried sharing space. However, the imagination of finding the people in comfort is quickly dispelled as thatched huts and half-constructed buildings litter the place. With no evidence of proper amenities, but for this well these children are drawing water from. We meet up with Ijao Dola, a former fisherman who quit the business three years ago to become a land agent. To show us why, he offers to be our guide for the day. We make our way to the beach to catch up with the fishermen before they set out for the day's activity, and luckily we get one just in time. Ijao Dola explained the hardship connected to the business. This occupation of ours is a viable one. Our fathers and their fathers have been taking care of their families as it is a good investment. But all what we use in the trade are too expensive. The engines we used to buy from between 200 and 350,000 are now 750,000 to 800,000 naira. Those who used to own three to four boats now are reduced to owning just one. And some don't have any more, like me, because there is no money. Next, we pay a visit to the local school, which is anything but impressive. The only donor building in this place is the toilet, which is a communal effort. The others are dilapidated structures, which serve as the principal's office and a classroom for learning. A daunting atmosphere here, no doubt, but the children here are upbeat. One of the traditional leaders in the community laments the situation. This school is not conducive for the children. We fixed it ourselves, and one day the roof caved in on one of the children. We are appealing to the government to help us. Also, when anyone falls ill, we have to travel far distances to get medical attention, as the clinic and maternity centers here are poorly maintained. Back at the beach are fish traders who lie in wait for the fishermen to return in order to purchase immediately. Upon return, Business is conducted quickly, as there is no storage facility in place, and this compels the fishermen to trade at giveaway prices. A kilogram of fish, which could be one, sells for 700 naira. Some, however, feel the pain of the fishermen and call on the government to support. It would be so good if they can really like, encourage them by supplying them the machine they use and they give them money at least to develop it. It will go a long way because they are just only trying human efforts. They, most of them do contribution to achieve all this. But if government can give them loan, it will go a long way to help them. At least, it will, at least it's part of poverty elevation. Uh. This child is being introduced to the harsh realities of this community and will certainly seek a better alternative if asked. <laughs> the sea holds within it abundant opportunities and it is the hope of this community that their dreams are not washed away. Oralu Ashenibare, Channel Television News.